how's it going everybody welcome back to more of our assassin's creed valhalla series um we've actually got a quest here we can ask her if she's okay Mary, are you well you seem distant i'm fine only a little tired but well enough shall we look at the map not until you tell me what is wrong oh i think i have i feel somewhat trapped in this room and this settlement and this life i cannot help you with your life just now but i can get you out of this room what do you say? I don't know. There is much work to be done. Stop. Forget about alliances and responsibility for just a few hours. We could take a ride to Grand Bridge or somewhere nearby for a change of pace. That sounds lovely and too far to consider just now. But thank you, Eivor. Maybe another time. Now, what was it you needed? Stop crying then, damn. Randvi, take a break. Let us make for Grandbridge Shire and get you out of this musty room. Do you mean now? Right now? Of course. You said you were tired of all this, so why not stretch your legs and fill your lungs? I did ask, didn't I? You're right. Lead the way, Eivor. Okay. Follow me. Let's get to Grandbridge with her, then. take the long ship today. This trip is for us. Just you and me. Is that a problem? No. Down there. Once I get some air and sun, I will be fine. I spend too much of my day in the long house. Huh? Cross the river at some point if you want to enter Grandabridge. If you know a better way, I would love to hear it. Is swimming not an option? Swimming. I don't know. Uh, are you joking? A boat or a horse would always do, but I'm not opposed to the more traditional methods. We can cross now, can't we? I guess we'll just keep going down for now. We'll just cross where it looks shallow. Horse, you're gonna have to get in the water. Okay. It really is lovely here. I have not been this far east of the settlement. Isn't that awful? You think safety awful? To live one's life in so small a pen. Hear stories from you and the scouts without ever venturing further. <laughs> Gods, do you smell that? The earth and the air. It is good to be out here. Eivor, there. What is that? This is Grand where Bridge. the summer army retreated when Grand Bridge was lost. They seem to have resettled the city in full now. Right, right. I know this land so well by its map, but to see it in person brings it to stunning life. A Roman marvel. I will not soon forget this sight. And here we are. What? Welcome to Grand Bridge. We should make our way to the Longhouse. Ah, oh, it's bigger than I imagined. Rustic, woody, beautiful. And everything seems quite new. Under Soma's guidance, the Summer Army built this town up from a small village. They wanted a hub for trade near London. And a launching point for incursions into Wessex. <laughs> well, it is impressive. Some interesting architectural ideas here too. <laughs> Well, well, 
<laughs> it's been quite a while since I've seen your face around here. I know you, I think. One of Soma's loyal men. Magni, is it? Yeah. Good memory. Good to see you again. This is Randvi, a dear friend and a sturdy fighter. Well met, Randvi. Eivor seems to have a preference for befriending lovely women. You know, I noticed the same thing. I expected more people about Magni. Has something happened? Soma rounded up some warriors and took them west. She's hoping to open a new trade route with Ox and the Vodder. Only now, in times of trouble, I have discovered I am not the surrogate leader I should hope to be. What sort of trouble? Oh, a pack of surly bandits have been kept nearby. To the east of the water's edge. They attack all merchants who travel here by river or road, and word is spreading quickly. It's keeping traders at bay. That could cripple your town if it carries on too long. <laughs> it's crippled me already. The bastard stole my horse yesterday morning. Okay. So what will we you... We can take care of them, Magni. And if we don't find your horse, we will steal you a new one. Well, that would ease my mind. I have nothing to offer you for this deed, but the bandit surely would. Take from them what you like. Good. Consider okay. the matter handled. Eivor, come. We have a camp to raid. The bandits are camped on the river, he said. East of the water's edge. You volunteered us for a fight, Randvi. Is that your idea? Over there. Through the country? It must be. I surprised even myself. Away from the table for a day, and already you are lusting for blood. A feeling you must know well, no? I have always oh, wanted to experience the world as you do, and now I will. Unless you have a more interesting day planned for us. We will help Magni and clear these bandits. But do not be rash when we find them. The Raven Clan needs your steady hand. Yes, indeed, my lord. I shall follow your order to the letter. If I did not know any better, I would say you are teasing me. Oh, certainly not, Eivor Wolf-kissed Iron-fisted Drenger. I would never tease one with such commanding authority. There, the bandit camp. All right. Do as I do. look steadily at the horizon? By all means. Damn. Yeah. You seemed hot for a battle. Here we go. Another one down. Where's the final one? There he is. Is there more coming? Or are they running? Done. Now to deliver Magnus' horse. I didn't mean to carry it. Where's Boyne? Me strength. Horse? There we go. Come on, Randy, move a bit quicker, please. Real Eivor. We are champions of Grandbridge. Do you know of any other towns that need liberating? You don't think we have had enough drama for one day? We should return to the settlement. 
Such a bore, Ivo. Or we could have a drink to celebrate our victory. At home. Tekla has all the mead and ale we could want. Eivor, our outing has hardly begun. Find us an alehouse and let us make ourselves at home. Let's return the horse. And if your thirst remains, we'll look around. Alright, let's go see Mackie. Magni, we solved your bandit problem. Did you? Well done! And did you find my sweet mare? Your horse is outside, waiting for you. Thank the gods she is safe. And thank you, Eivor. And your friend Randy, wherever she is. She is here somewhere. Eivor, over here. Look at this. She wants to drink. What are you playing at? A drinking contest. You versus me. Wolfkist versus Table Maiden. Ranvi, we can do better than Table Maiden. Mead Queen, then. All right. Let us drink. Beautiful. Here we go. Run me destroy him there. Problem is they don't have any of the things that we have, they're just slow overall. You have my feet, you're up. Damn it. Oh, anymore and I'll drown. Ha! I am the Mead Queen, slayer of wolves and barrels. I told you I would drink you under the table. So, are you satisfied? My head is ringing like a bell. More than satisfied. Now come, we'll ride this off and take in the air as we head home. After just one more stop. Oh, Randvi. It's a sunken tower near a waterfall, close to home. We can stop for a look, and then you are free of me. It's near the highest point of a hill, just south of the settlement. Easy to spot, I'm sure. All right, one last stop then. I know it might not show, Eivor, but I am terribly excited. Oh, it shows. Okay. <sighs> I do hope to see you again. Randvi. Turn any time. Thank you for everything. No, no, thank you. Dude, we're no longer in the building. You can stop talking. I think you may have punctured poor Magni's heart back there. What can I say? Not the first, and it will not be the last. I name you Randvi. Slayer of bandits and breaker of hearts. I will sound it with pride. Sunova described this tower for me. A desolate yet peaceful hey! place. I am eager to see it. After a full day of action, finally you wish to calm down. I've had my fill of Is adventure. That? Time for a little rest. <laughs> I was wondering something. You and Soma. Was there something more to your bond? You spoke of her with a particular shine in your we eyes. We grew very close, very quickly. 
Is that what you mean? Was Roma one uh, same or one uh, romance option? No, I mean, did something happen between you two? What sort of question is that? An innocent one. Innocent as a newborn babe. Nothing happened between us. That is my answer. Hmm. I find that disappointing. If I were you, I might have tested the waters, Eivor, entangled by a hardy Jarlskona as she leads her army to victory and prosperity. A rather appealing match. <laughs> I'm going to pretend your last words were taken by the wind, Randby. If you must. Here it is. Look there. That must be the tower. Take the bridge. I have not been here. Just as beautiful as Suniva's stories tell. Can you imagine how it looked when it was first built? Hundreds of winters ago. Sometimes when looking at a map, I imagine little people in their little armies, traversing the land. And now, staring at these ruins, I imagine people of old, how they lived, never knowing what would become of their monuments. You have a fertile imagination. I want a view from the top. Shall we? Lead on. On the chest. Oh, whoa. Right. Damn. Is she under? Keep up. Mind where you put your fingers. These stones are old and weathered. You climb well for one who folds maps. You jest. But I have raised the frames of longhouses and hammered the ribs of longships. My hands are calloused from hard work. Didn't take that very well. Well, well. Look at this. A stunning view. It reminds me of my early years in Norway. How I used to climb the hills beyond the wood. You have an adventurous heart. I hardly see it behind the table, but... Now I've watched you scale a tower in furs, soaking wet. I was rowdy in my youth. Hunting. Sailing. I was a wildling of the open air, before I became this staunch and stoic woman. Married off in service of peace between two clans. A noble and worthy role, but not one I had ever imagined for myself. You would have made a fine wandering warrior. A Jomsvikinger, free to come and go as she pleased. I think so too. It may be we would have sailed together over the open seas, raiding or traveling. Or faced each other on the field of battle. Without your marriage to Sigurd to secure peace, our clans might still be at war. True. Very true. Thank you for today. Every bit of it has been a dream, and... and I'm not keen to wake. Then don't. We can stay here as long as you like. Yes. What was that? Uh, oh, no, I am... I'm sorry. I shouldn't have. I got oh, away shit. from myself. No need to apologize. Sigurd is your brother, and I... I have put you in a very difficult position. The heart does not do politics like the head. It may be the meat, it may be the air, but there is no need to apologize. <laughs> I am sober enough. But the truth of it is, I have felt this way for some time now. I care for you, Eivor. Hmm. Yeah, we have that one for now. I do wish that I could indulge this feeling further. But that is not possible. Of course. Yes. I was foolish to. Let this be a dream then. A moment that never happened but in our minds. I would not wish you to see me so weak as that. You need feel no shame. This stays between us. And at worst, we have had a beautiful day. As friends and kindred spirits. More than enough for me. 
I would like to stay here, if it is all the same to you. I would like that. Hmm. Andrei? Hmm. Must have returned to the settlement. Okay. You can grab that. Maybe. There you go. And then we're going to try and figure out where this is quickly. Oh, it is down there. Oh, it's the horde map. I think we already have all the horde. That's going to be no good to us. So much more under here. Get out of here. Fast travel back to the settlement. Mm, we could get the rest of these. Because we need a few more supplies so we can build um Alka's plumbing thing. Because we can't go to um we can't go to the next place without building her thing. Kind of annoying. I think it's in there. I really wish my m map would open up when I press that. If I press it. Uh, okay, now the map's so I'd say no. I don't know. Wait, no. Down there. <laughs> and then another one all the way over there. He's out of settlements though, so I don't think they can any of them are gonna give me supplies. But I suppose it means we can Upgrade some other stuff. for good reason. Naked all the time. Forget about him. The hell? That blasted Winchell, will he ever shut his mouth up there on his rock? We kicked Winchell up for good reason. Naked all the time. Unacceptable. Forget about him. The hell is this place? That blasted Winchell, will he ever shut his mouth up there on his rock? We kicked Winchell up for good reason. Naked all the time.
What is this? Why don't I speak to him? <clears throat> I'm interested to know what this place actually is. Naked. Because my uncompromising lack of clothes brings me joy. Yet my very own sect of pious nudists tossed me aside. Nudists? Those who bear their skin. He's not nude. Have I got a set? at all times in the tradition of great Greeks and Romans yet some say I am too enthusiastic nude in prayer at meal times at work in the streets and alehouses everywhere for Jesus loves us best as we were born but the group I founded has expelled me oh if I could exact revenge steal their clothes and render them nude forever I would unbearer Peter that assembly of traitors act like all is. That assembly of traitors act like all is well. Is that what he wants me to do? Oh, that's the crate. Just put your. Hey! Stop that! Put it down! The fuck? He's bugged. I'm supposed to bring it back to there. Yours 
Oh God. Now you're nude forever, as Winter wanted. Now they will adhere to your principles. Yes! You have carried out my revenge. Wonderful. Now they must revel in their nudeness forever. If you like, I have a luminous text with my teachings. A breviary of why one must trust their body's exposed sinew. Enjoy. Be well, when chill the chest tree. Okay. We still need those more resources, man. I wonder if that is... Normally in settlements, I bet they're all of them in Led Esther there. Let's try it. We need like 80 or something. We've got the actual supply, the other bits that we need. first in fact let's have a look what we need i think it's like 65 or 80 we have 15 i mean i get the eight-legged horse who wouldn't want such a steal So only give me supplies, so I can only get the other thing from raiding monasteries. Ah, that suck. That does suck. Right guys, we'll leave things here for now. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, most importantly, go to such a beautiful day, and bye-bye.